The Apple Watch Series 9 is actually expected to retain the similar design to the Watch Series 8. So there is not going to be any physical changes. Now the reason behind this is actually the focus primarily is on the internal improvements rather than the external one that will come next year. However, there will still be new color options available. The aluminum case models are rumored to come in Midnight, Starlight, Product Red, Silver and Pink variants. How deep of a pink it will be, we just don't know. The stainless steel case models will include gold, graphite and silver options. Very typical. Now, in addition to that, the packaging of the Apple Watch Series 9 is expected to be more compact. On the other hand, the Apple Watch Ultra second generation one is also expected to feature the same design as the current Apple Watch Ultra. However, Apple will introduce a black titanium variant alongside the existing titanium option. Mark Gurman says that this will be called Space Black Titanium. Now, we already have seen what the Watch OS 10 will bring to the table, but we don't know about the chip, right? Reports indicate that the Watch Series 9 and the new Ultra model will be powered by a new S9 chip. Now, this SoC actually is expected to bring some significant speed improvements and better overall performance compared to the previous generation, while still being much more power efficient. Now, Mark Carman actually says that the S9 chip will not be a more of a rebranding of the previous generation chip, which has been the case for the S8 chip or S7 chip, for those who don't know. But this time, the S9 chip will be a completely new chip. It is also speculated that the S9 chip could be based on the Apple's A15 Bionic used inside the iPhone 13 series. That's actually good improvement. Well, if you're thinking when we are exactly going to get the biggest upgrade in the hardware department, well, that's actually 2024. The report suggests that the standard Apple Watch series is expected to be marked as Apple Watch X or 10 in its 10th iteration similar to what they did with iPhone 10, of course. But the Apple Watch 10 is actually rumored to come in two sizes, each featuring larger displays than the Watch Series 9 will feature. The smaller model will actually have 1.89 inch display, while the larger model could actually feature 2.04 inch display. Now, it is important to note that due to the curvy design, with the usable screen area will still be slightly smaller. But even then, it will still be bigger than what it is going to come with the Watch Series 9. But the Apple Watch SA3 is actually going to adopt the slimmer bezels seen in the current Apple Watch 8. That means it will also get bigger display. This is going to be the biggest upgrade in the Apple Watch SE models. And then the Apple Watch Ultra in 2025 or 2026 will see the micro LED panel, about a 2.13 inch sized micro LED panel. This will be a big, big step forward in terms of display technologies. But then again, that's also a very complicated and a very costly display as of now. Anyway, other than that, we are not expecting any battery improvements with the Apple Watch Series 9. So maybe it will improve slightly thanks to the new generation chip and better energy efficient chip. But that's probably it. And the same thing can also be said about the price. Last year, Apple launched a more premium Ultra model at $799 and a cheaper Apple Watch SE alternative at $249 to make the Apple Watch series lineup more wider than ever. And this year, we're expecting the same kind of pricing of the Apple Watch series 9. There's not going to be any changes. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website. A link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.